Yo, let's make a thumbnail for our YouTube video. Step one, get Photoshop. I don't care how you get it, get it. There's lots of different plans. You can get the personal plan. This is in Canadian currency, so it's cheaper in US currency. If you're a student, you can get it for less, so you can get it for $19 a month. Just get Photoshop. If you're using one of the other free apps, I don't know how to use those, so you could just insert how to do blank. Uh, in whatever app that you have. But step one, get Photoshop. Step two, take hilarious YouTuber face photos of yourself. So just take a bunch of different photos of you just doing YouTuber face. So just like the exaggerated facial expressions, take a bunch, try some different outfits on, just take a bunch of photos of yourself doing YouTuber face. Step three, look up the game that you're wanting to make a thumbnail for in Google Images. So go to Google Images. We're gonna make a thumbnail for Elden Ring. So just look up Elden Ring wallpaper. Try to use official game pictures, so no art or nothing drawn by anybody because you might run into copyright issues. So let's just take this promo image. We're gonna drag that to our desktop. And then what you're also gonna do is part of step three is also look up Elden Ring logo. And then in Google images, we're gonna use this tools option and we're gonna go to color and choose transparent. And we're gonna find a logo that we can use that's got a transparent background. So we can just drag that to our desktop. Step four, open Photoshop. So once in Photoshop, we're gonna create a new document and we're gonna make it 720p. So 1280 by 720, that's the standard thumbnail size. Doesn't matter what color your background is, we're gonna hit create and we have our template here. We're gonna drag our images onto the project. So the first one we're gonna put is our Elden Ring picture, which will go there. And then we're gonna put us doing YouTube face. And then here's where it gets good. So in Photoshop, they actually have an AI tool that does auto cropping for you. So with our photo selected here, we can click on this button here, the object selection tool. And there's this option right here that says select subject and it automatically crops you out of the picture. You just choose selected mask and then we're gonna make ourselves a layer mask. So that chops out our whole background here and just has our photo there. So we could put that there. Let's add in our Elden Ring text. All right, and now you're like, okay, but I want to be above the text. So you just play with the layers a little bit. And then maybe you want your background to be one of those backgrounds where the character that's in this wallpaper here kind of plays around with the text as well. So all you do, duplicate that layer that you've got your wallpaper in. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make these not visible. And then with this picture on top, we're gonna do the same thing we just did with the picture that we did doing YouTuber face. So we're gonna select subject and it's gonna select uh, the whole character and the lion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the mask and then we are going to layer mask. Let's back out that. And then now we can play around with the eraser tool and just take out what we don't want. You don't have to be as spot on with this. Just get what you want in this shot here. Great, once you got what you want, just move the Elden Ring text or the game title text between those two layers now, and boom, now you have a really cool effect. So if we wanna edit that a little bit further, we just lock this layer, go back to the one that we wanna edit. Let's get that eraser tool back out again. And then when in doubt, always zoom in. And there we go. Now we've got a cool thumbnail. Some other effects that you wanna add, you wanna put some depth on your picture. So what you can do is right on your picture, you can do this with any of the elements. So your picture, the titles, any text that you wanna add on there, just right click, choose this option, blending options. And then here, check off the drop shadow option. And you can play around with the opacity of the drop shadow. It just adds a level of depth to the photo that makes it look a lot better. We could even do that with the Elden Ring logo as well. Maybe cool off the opacity a little bit. You just made yourself a thumbnail for your YouTube channel. Meow.